In our journey through life, we often find ourselves entangled in the complexities of relationships, responsibilities, and the expectations of others. While connections are essential, it is equally important to protect all your inner peace and well-being. This doesn't mean building walls, but rather cultivating a deeper understanding of yourself and your interactions with others. The teachings of Zen offer profound wisdom on how to navigate this delicate balance. Today I will guide you through a series of lessons inspired by Zen philosophy to help you protect yourself from the influences and energies of others while remaining compassionate and connected. Lesson 1. Let go of fixing. One of the most liberating lessons Zen teaches us is to let go of the need to fix others. We often believe that by helping others change, we are contributing to their well-being. While intentions may be pure, this desire to fix can lead to frustration and disappointment when others do not conform to our expectations. The truth is, every person is on their own unique journey. They have their own lessons to learn and their own pace at which to grow. By letting go of the need to fix, you free yourself from the burden of responsibility for others' actions and decisions. Instead, focus on being a supportive presence, offering guidance when asked, but respecting their autonomy. Letting go of fixing is about releasing control. It's about understanding that true change comes from within, and that your role is not to impose change, but to inspire it through your own actions and example. Lesson 2. The Power of Mindful Observation Mindful observation is a cornerstone of Zen practice. It involves a stepping back and observing situations, emotions, and people without judgment. This practice helps you develop a clear understanding of what is happening around you and within you. When you observe mindfully, you detach yourself from immediate reactions and emotional entanglements. You begin to see things as they are, rather than how you want them to be. This clarity allows you to protect your energy by not getting caught up in unnecessary drama or conflicts. Through mindful observation, you can discern which situations and relationships are nourishing and which are draining. You can then make conscious decisions about how much energy to invest in each, preserving your peace of mind and emotional balance. Lesson 3. Recognize Limits Zen teaches us the importance of recognizing our limits. In a world that often glorifies self-sacrifice and endless giving, it's crucial to understand that you cannot pour from an empty cup. Recognizing your limits means acknowledging when you need to step back, rest, and recharge. This lesson is not about being selfish. It's about self-preservation. By understanding your boundaries, you can avoid burnout and resentment, which often arise from overextending yourself. When you protect your energy, you are better equipped to show up fully in your relationships and responsibilities. Recognizing limits also means accepting that there are things beyond your control, whether it's the actions of others, the outcome of events, or the pace of progress. Not everything is within your power to change. By embracing this reality, you free yourself from unnecessary stress and focus on what you can control your own actions and reactions. Lesson 4. Self-reflection and understanding. Self-reflection is a powerful tool for protecting yourself from the influences of others. Zen encourages regular introspection to understand your thoughts, emotions, and motivations. By delving into your inner world, you can identify any patterns or triggers that lead to unnecessary suffering. Understanding yourself is the key to making informed choices about how you interact with others. When you are aware of your strengths, weaknesses, and boundaries, 
you can navigate relationships with greater confidence and clarity. This self-awareness also helps you avoid being swayed by others' opinions or expectations, allowing you to stay true to your own path. Self-reflection is not about dwelling on the past or overanalyzing your actions. It's about gaining insight into your inner landscape so that you can make conscious decisions that align with your values and well-being. Lesson 5. Compassionate Detachment Compassionate detachment is a Zen principle that involves caring for others without becoming entangled in their emotional turmoil. It's a delicate balance between empathy and maintaining your own emotional boundaries. When you practice compassionate detachment, you offer support and love to others, but you do not take on their suffering as your own. This protects you from being overwhelmed by others' emotions, allowing you to remain centered and grounded. This practice does not mean being cold or indifferent. On the contrary, it allows you to be fully present with others while maintaining your own inner peace. By staying detached, you can offer more effective help as you are not clouded by your own emotional reactions. Lesson 6. Cultivating Mindfulness in Interactions Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present in the moment, and this extends to your interactions with others. When you engage mindfully, you listen deeply, speak thoughtfully, and respond with intention rather than reacting impulsively. Cultivating mindfulness in your interactions allows you to protect yourself by ensuring that your words and actions are aligned with your values and true self. It also helps you avoid getting caught up in misunderstandings or conflicts, as you are more attuned to the subtleties of communication. Mindfulness in interactions also means being aware of how others' energy and emotions affect you. If you notice that certain conversations or people drain your energy, you can choose to limit your exposure or approach these situations with greater caution. Lesson 7. Non-attachment. Non-attachment is a core Zen teaching that involves letting go of the need to cling to outcomes, relationships, or material possessions. When you practice non-attachment, you free yourself from the suffering that comes from trying to hold on to things that are inherently impermanent. In relationships, non-attachment means loving and caring for others without becoming dependent on them for your happiness or self-worth. It's about recognizing that everything in life is transient and that true peace comes from within, not from external sources. Non-attachment also helps you navigate the ups and downs of relationships with greater ease. When you are not overly attached to a specific outcome, you can approach situations with a sense of equanimity, knowing that whatever happens, you will be okay. Lesson 8. Active Listening and Empathy Active listening is a practice of fully focusing on and understanding what another person is saying without immediately jumping to conclusions or planning your response. When combined with empathy, it allows you to connect deeply with others while maintaining your own emotional boundaries. Through active listening, you can truly hear what others are expressing, both verbally and non-verbally. This practice fosters deeper connections and helps prevent misunderstandings. At the same time, Empathy allows you to understand others' perspectives and feelings without losing yourself in their emotions. By practicing active listening and empathy, you can protect yourself from unnecessary conflicts and emotional entanglements. You can respond to others with compassion and understanding while maintaining your own inner peace. Lesson 9. Patience and Acceptance in Relationships Patience and acceptance are essential qualities for maintaining harmony in relationships. Zen teaches us to embrace the present moment as it is, without trying to force or rush change. 
This approach is especially important in relationships, where growth and understanding often take time. Patience allows you to give others the space they need to grow and evolve at their own pace. It also helps you remain calm and centered when faced with challenges or misunderstandings. Acceptance, on the other hand, is about acknowledging reality as it is, not as you wish it to be. This doesn't mean resigning yourself to unhealthy situations, but rather recognizing the truth of the present moment and responding from a place of wisdom and compassion. When you practice patience and acceptance, you protect yourself from the frustration and disappointment that often arise from trying to control or change others. You allow relationships to unfold naturally with a sense of ease and grace. Lesson 10. Embracing Impermanence. Impermanence is a fundamental concept in Zen philosophy. It teaches us that everything in life is in a constant state of flux. Nothing stays the same forever. By embracing impermanence, you can protect yourself from the suffering that comes from clinging to what is inevitably changing. In relationships, embracing impermanence means understanding that people, feelings, and circumstances are always evolving. This awareness helps you appreciate the present moment without becoming attached to it. It also allows you to let go gracefully when relationships or situations come to an end. By accepting impermanence, you develop resilience and a deep sense of inner peace. You learn to flow with the changes of life rather than resisting them, which ultimately protects your well-being. In conclusion, protecting yourself from others is not about building walls or isolating yourself. It's about cultivating a deep understanding of yourself and your interactions with the world. The teachings of Zen offer a path to inner peace and balance, guiding you to navigate relationships with mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom. By letting go of the need to fix, practicing mindful observation, recognizing your limits, engaging in self-reflection, and cultivating mindfulness in your interactions, you create a strong foundation for protecting your energy and well-being. Compassionate detachment, non-attachment, active listening, patience, acceptance, and embracing impermanence further empower you to maintain inner peace in the face of life's challenges. As you walk this path, remember that the journey is ongoing. Each moment offers an opportunity to deepen your understanding and refine your practice. By integrating these lessons into your daily life, you not only protect yourself from the influences of others, but also contribute to a more harmonious and compassionate world.